Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back there, Daily Crypto News and Analysis. And today we're going to be talking about the entire market, uh, focusing on Bitcoin, XLM, XRP, QNT, and even HBAR. So sit back, relax, and before we fully jump on into this video, I do just want to ask guys to please leave a like on this video. It does help the channel grow immensely. And of course, I always do greatly appreciate that. Now, I have been addressing and talking to you guys about a lot of things within this market. Uh, of course, yes, I have been focused on a lot of things in regards to Bitcoin. Uh, I have been watching a lot of things unfold within the indices, the dollar, uh, the 10-year yield and stuff like that. Uh, we did see a little bit of a better day than I expected today, which was pretty interesting. But of course, we still have those possible, you know, rate hike increases from the Fed uh, in the talks this week, which could cause a massive catastrophic drop on Bitcoin, because that will tell a lot of individuals to kind of run to the dollar, if you will, uh, which could be concerning. Now, Again, I actually think the opposite will happen within that area as well. I think that we will see a crashing point uh, initially, but I think that a lot of that money will flow back in once people realize that, hey, it's not a big deal. It, it, it's really kind of going back to like the March of 2020 drop on Bitcoin as well, where we did see that major drop followed by a massive inflow of capital as well. Now, I'm not going to say that the markets won't be shaken up by, you know, rate increases. Uh, of course we will. Um, but I am watching this factor. This is, to me, the scariest chart currently. We are seeing the dollar kind of ranging here. It found support at the 618. Um, I'm hoping that we see a strong reversal soon uh, to lead us back down to the 382 on the dollar. Um, I'm watching this hit a little bit of resistance at around the 99.25 level. So as long as we don't have a strong impulse above that level, we are all good. But you guys can obviously see the strength on the RSI. You could also see, of course, the dollar increasing day in and day out going as far back as May of 2021. This has been in a nice upward trend since then. And it's actually fairly bearish for us currently in terms of the dollar chart. Now, all while this is happening, I'm watching the 10-year yield going absolutely parabolic, the highest uh, numbers that we've seen since going back to 2019. And the factor here is the idea that this is telling us that there's a lot of, you know, interest within the risk to reward ratio investments, aka crypto and stocks, but we're not seeing a lot of money pouring in currently. This just tells us that there's interest there, there's demand there, but we are not currently seeing this actually being printed within capital flow. Now, of course, I did see the indices today. Uh, they really were not anything great. They were still in a very bearish formation. Uh, they did not look, you know, at all good. Um, I will say right now, I am going to continue to watch these unfold over the week. Uh, I think that things are kind of up in the air right now with, of course, the Fed. You know, I think that a lot of things are kind of ranging within that and the decision to, of course, increase those, you know, rates. So while we are waiting for that, we are also watching resistance being targeted on Bitcoin. Actually, we are seeing this resistance point being targeted at 39.6K which is you know those levels going back to september this is the de the september demand zone bottom so we are hitting this resistance we're in a downward trend all while i still have my levels down here at 35 to 36k i believe that these levels will be targeted i think that this will most likely happen this week i am watching this unfold greatly and i'm watching this closely as we are kind of ranging against this and uh while everyone is getting a little bit bullish here you know, I really would not get bullish at all. Um, but with this in mind, do we, you know, are we still looking good on the macro view? 100%. I'm not too concerned at all. And uh, here is a little bit of a tweet that I am resonating with from Credible Crypto. In the 15 to 17 cycle, we took 900 days to go from 200 to 2,000, an $1,800 move, and then went from 2,000 to 20,000, an $18,000 move in 90 days. The biggest nominal gains happen in the final 10% of a cycle. Those new to the space don't get it. It's okay. I'll see you at 100K plus. Now, like I said, the final 10% of the cycle is truly where everything does start to pop. You know, we have been seeing some incredible price action on Bitcoin, but now we are waiting for that last major impulse. Now, I'm not going against what Credible Crypto is saying at all. Um, I do believe that we will hit some major high targets. Uh, the issue here is when, okay? Uh, because I believe that our ranging pattern could range us all the way until the fall time of 2022. 
So I'm watching, you know, September closely around this point here. Now, during this time, it doesn't mean that we can't see incredible price action moves throughout altcoins. In fact, we've even seen that throughout the 2017-2018 cycle as well, uh, where we did see major moves throughout 2015 to 2017, followed by, of course, major moves throughout the 2017 timeframe for alts, similar to what we will most likely expect here. Now, with this in mind, I am watching a lot of these altcoins and their major resistance points that they have to break before we even do get, uh, excuse me, bullish, which XRP is 92 cents. Uh, I've told you guys about this. This is a multi-year resistance level that we are watching on XRP. Uh, a lot of their price action charts on the XRP, like for example, Bitcoin pairs, like this is what I want you all to watch in terms of altcoins. And trust me, this is getting, you know, very interesting as well as we are ranging on here because you could obviously see the strength on the RSI down here. You could also see that we are in a nice little formation sideways, uh, almost looks like a bull flag, if you will. But, you know, this is still increasingly, you know, bullish in terms of an upward trend. But I do want to see us back up into this point here, which would be very good for, of course, the USD pair. But similar to XRP, we're also looking like this on a lot of other alts as well. XLM is one that's actually in a downward sideways trend in in a very bearish uh, sort of position that it's in. Um, but Again, you could see that it's bouncing off of that RSI. The RSI actually looks a little bit weaker on XLM compared to XRP, but these do move very, very closely together. Uh, I am watching XLM and XRP closely uh, because these are ones that move during the last points of the market. So I'm not expecting these to have a major increase in price just yet. Uh, but I will say this, I am watching Q&T and I am also watching HBAR. We do see this key target point that we have labeled on the Q&T chart at around 154 to $177. And similar to HBAR, this is that demand zone uh, that you know, Q&T does have. As also, by the way, check out these charts. Tell me these do not look incredibly similar. This is where we are on a lot of altcoins, where we are seeing this massive downward trend ranging on this bottom structural you know, support. And uh, we're just kind of ranging sideways, waiting for that momentum change in this market. That momentum change will most likely happen uh, once we do see those rate hikes, you know, possible talk discussions really kind of cleared. Um, it's either yes, we're going to increase rates or no, we're not going to. Things are fine. Things look good, which we know that inflation is not looking good at all. Um, but we do know that they have been pushing that on, uh, you know, for a very long time saying, you know, eh, yeah, everything's fine. You don't have to worry about inflation. So most likely... Um, if we are seeing those possible hikes being increased, I think that will have very, very short term volatility within the market. We'll see a crashing formation on Bitcoin. We'll see altcoins hitting my demand zones. Uh, my demand zones on HBAR have always been around this 19 to about 16 cent zone. Uh, we'll most likely target these, you know, all time lows or not all time lows. I shouldn't say all time lows, but these lows going back to the summertime, uh, which would be like, you know, maybe 13 cents. If we do hit that, that would be incredible uh, for Q&T. We'll hit the bottom structural support on my demand zone at about like $54. And that is, of course, if we see that crashing formation happen on Bitcoin. Um, but of course, the leading factors would be the dollar that we would have to be watching. Of course, it all ranges on what the Fed does say, uh, because these impulses that we see throughout this market, where we do see crashing formations and we see incredible you know, price opportunity for a lot of altcoins and stuff like that, range on with what happens in the overall economic viewpoint. And when, when I say that is like, it all goes back to like the March of 2020 drop, right? You know... This back here, sorry, this is December. Um, I meant to go to, wow, we're back in 2018. Sorry, I was on the one week chart. So here's March of 2020. So back here, you know, what caused these major crashing uh, points is what happens throughout the entire market is you see something that causes fear and individuals capitulate on that. Then they throw their money towards something like the US dollar, right? Like everybody ran throughout, like we seen during March, individuals running and putting their money into the US dollar. In fact, we even seen, you know, a crashing point going across the board for, you know, stocks as well. People were just felt safe having their money in the US dollar compared to risk assets. You could even see that on the uh, 10 year yield as well. Let's go back to March of 2020. So here's July. Here you guys have March of 2020. This increased drastically, followed by a major crashing formation. A lot of individuals were not looking at risk assets. 
Then we've seen this kind of range sideways, followed by, of course, that increase during 2020, followed by that increase in 2021, where a lot of demand was around crypto. We've seen, you know, Dogecoin and stuff like that going absolutely parabolic. And now we're kind of in a similar structure compared to the March of 2020 drop, where I do believe that this is going to actually increase continued, uh, where we do see a lot more money kind of being interested in risk to reward ratio opportunities, similar to Bitcoin, similar to altcoins and even stocks as well. Now, we have been seeing a lot of talks around Bitcoin in general uh, on where we could really kind of lead to in the macro view and I'm kind of here set with you know what other individuals are saying more so tech dev uh, now I don't believe that his targets will be hit of course I don't believe that these targets are you know close to oh so he actually changed his targets we're actually seeing around like the 120 to 160 K uh, mark I believe that this is actually fairly you know spot on um, but you do see it kind of ranging all the way to around 2023 like this is 2023 uh, almost here so this will most likely be the fall time period, similar to 2017, 2018. Uh, and this will be that last major wave five impulse. Of course, during this time, we'll have, you know, a wave four within here. But, you know, this will be that major wave five that will bring us to those all time highs of like a roughly 120 to 160 K for Bitcoin. And of course, you guys do see the reaccumulation back here. It's honestly a reaccumulation across the board for even all coins in, in terms of even Bitcoin as well. So uh, I am watching a lot of things uh, within this market so far. I will say this on the weekly chart. Bitcoin does look good. It looks like it is finding major support at around the 37.7 K mark. But I do believe that we will see a major test of some support very very soon if we do see that major impulse across the board from the fed uh, announcements so with that being said just to kind of clarify watch the dollar watch the 10-year and watch the indices especially in terms of reactions with the fed and their announcements so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys want more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below as always up to you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this before this has been nick Peace out, guys.